A duck walks into a store and picks up a VR headset. He starts to walk out, but the owner stops him and says, hey, you need to pay for that. The duck looks back at him and goes, put it on my bill. Video game report card. Welcome to Video Game Report Card, where I'm gonna be rating games and telling you if they're worthy of your purchase or not. First up is a game called Duck Duckpocalypse. It's a game where essentially you're just a hunter in a cabin laying waste to cyborg ducks of various kinds. Let me show you some gameplay. Pause. I'm gonna stop the gameplay right there because if I play any more of this, I'm gonna spoil the game in its entirety. It's a game that's about as thin as it can possibly be. You get two guns, you get a timer, and then you get a scoreboard. And that's it. The game starts, you have 90 seconds to play, and then it's over. It's finished before you know it, you play it three times, and you're done with it. Thank you for watching. But hang on. Just because this is a very thin game doesn't mean it's a game that is not worthy of your time. This is a game that'll help you reminisce of your first true love. The one who is always there for you and will always be there for you. This game will make the NES fanboy inside of you be happy that you moved on to VR. This game really is essentially Duck Hunt in virtual reality. And you know what? Duck Hunt wasn't a very deep or immersive game. And you know what? You played that game for hours. So if you love that game or you just love Nintendo, I would at least give this game a go. You'll probably have a smile the entire time playing it. Rating this game five quacktastic points out of 10. The Steam price is the same price I paid, which is $2.99. The price I'd willingly pay for this game, $3. No, this isn't the best VR experience you will ever have, but it is cheap and anyone who plays it will have a big smile on their face the entire time they play it. So even with a low rating, I'd still highly recommend it. Video game report card.